In hard and industrial techno, what rules everything is distortion. Take for example this acid line I want to fit to a kick drum. The acid sounds too clean, but with the right plugin I can make it more dirty. And that makes the beat sound better. The better you can trash a sound, the better your tracks are. That explains an enormous amount of distortion plugins from which we can separate tube or tape saturators. They emulate the sound being passed through overloaded electronic circuits, which gives a characteristic crunch and warmth we like to add into our productions. There's one thing though, a decent tape or tube saturation plugin costs around 100 euros. <laughs> So I decided to cook and I built a free Ableton rack with which I can mangle the same acid line and any other sound and that way... That way... Or any other one to substitute these expensive tools. What exactly does this rack do though? To discover that, let's play around with a proper tape saturation effect first. For example, let's take the Arturia Melofi. With all knobs turned to zero, we can expect this effect to be transparent. The easiest way to mangle the sound would be to use the drive knob that, along with the boost button, adds distortion. That's the most common thing we do to make a sound filthy. A decent distortion effect usually gives a few ways to shape the distortion itself. In the Melofi, we have the tone knob for that. It can be bypassed with a switch. Another way to add filth is mixing into the sound some noise. Here, we can do that in three different ways. A creative solution to degrade the sound is to add pitch variation and time. In this plugin we have both flutter and wow knobs for that. Personally, I think that a degraded sound should be also more out of center. We can use a stereo enhancement to emphasize our current effect. At last, degraded sounds are usually warmer and they don't have lots of high frequencies, hence the filter section here we can use. That was a quick overview of 5 different ways to trash any sound. Knowing this, I will show you now how to save money and substitute this effect with Ableton stock effects. We will begin with the distortion part. Ableton does already have a tube saturation effect called the dynamic tube, so I'm sure to include that in my rack. I can tell the amount of tube saturation added by both drive and bias knobs, while the character of that saturation is set with both tone and tube mode chooser. The try word and output, as in every other effect, respectively blend the effect with the dry sound and control the output volume. <laughs> The second distortion effect I will include is the overdrive. I picked this one as it easily adds a screaming effect to the sound. Here I can use the drive once again to directly set the amount of distortion added. I also have many ways to shape the distortion or that screaming effect itself. The screaming is controlled by the bandpass filter that picks a frequency range we want to emphasize most. The character of the distortion is set with both dynamics and tone controls. <laughs> No, 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 no,
To add noise to the sound I can use the erosion, as in the overdrive we have here another bandpass filter. This time it filters out frequencies from the crackle and artifacts we blend into the sound by using the amount fader. What's interesting is that I can use the white noise mode for an extra stereo enhancement I mentioned earlier. Another type of noise can be added by Redux, and Ableton's Pit Crusher effect. Reducing the bit depth with bits is what we are looking for. The noise added by that is shaped with the shape knob. It won't hurt to add slight town sampling for a subtle lo-fi effect. This is done with both Raid and the Jitter. The third way of sound degradation is pitch variation that I add with the shifter. The only way to change the pitch in a smooth way without introducing any glitching is by using it in a frequency shifter mode. This pitch change sounds unnatural, but I think that's an extra benefit. To add pitch variation I will use the internal LFO. I want it to be unpredictable, so the LFO curve will be set to random. The amount of pitch change is set with the amount knob, while the modulation rate is set with rate. Even though we added stereo enhancement inside of the erosion, the amount of that enhancement is fixed. To have more control over the sounds stereo width, I will use a separate utility where I use the width knob. This utility should be placed after the erosion to make sure we always have some stereo image to alter. The last way of trashing the sound is the equalization. A degraded sound could be warmer and more mellow. To create such effect, I cut the highest frequencies with a low pass filter and boost some low mid ones. I can also introduce another thing, that is a resonant hiss to make the sound a bit hollow. Boosting mid-high and the highest frequencies achieve that goal easily. No, no, no. 
All that's left is to group the effects together, assign macros, and this is the result. The rack I have created implements the five waves of sound degradation we discovered earlier. The saturation amount and saturation style control appropriate parameters of both dynamic tube and overdrive. Noise amount adds noise from both erosion and redux. EQ hiss and EQ warm control the equalizer that makes the sound both warm and hollow. The pitch variation section is adjusted by the pitch amount and pitch speed knobs. A separate macro for stereo enhancement is here as well. Aside from the global dry wet control we have seen in the earlier effects, I added two extra macros. The first one is the input gain that drives the whole sound harder to the processing chain, amplifying the effect of all distortion effects. Another thing is a compression knob that utilizes Ableton's limiter to squash the sound a bit to make it sound flatter. The limiter can also glue all the crackle and noise better. Download the audio degradation rack for free from my website and in the meanwhile I will use this rack on another sound and play around with the macros.